What's up, Spy Ninjas? PZ9 is on mail! Yeah! yeah. Oh. PZ9, Melvin, you're not supposed to wear your mask anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go beat up some hackers, right? Hold up. First of all, we need to put you to a lie detector test because this is the first time we're seeing your face. We need to be able to read if you're telling us the truth about everything. Now that we know what you look like, Melvin. How many steps does it take to really become a spy ninja? What a long process. You can't be a spy ninja yet because we still don't know your full story yet. Hi, everybody. My name is Melvin. I love animals and long walks on the beach. <laughs> Oh, you got some secrets, I think, still. Well, we all do, don't we? Not the spy ninjas. We know everybody's secrets, right? Oh, right. yes, yes. When I joined, I had to take a lie detector test. It's Melvin's turn. Uh, what is going on here? I'm just fixing my shirt from the opening gag. <laughs> but that doesn't scare me. Bring it on. All right, okay. the lie detector test is right there. Oh, one more thing before we start. Yes. Okay, Melvin, here are the rules. If you lie all three times, you're kicked out of the spy ninjas and out of the safe house. Whoa. Wow, that Sounds was easy enough. super fast, Daniel. Hey. Wow. Nice shirt. Thanks, Chad. But every time you tell the truth, we're gonna give you some CWC merchandise. However, every time you lie, you will lose all the prizes you've won up to that point. Fair enough. Let's do it. First, a baseline question to make sure the lie detector test is working correctly. An easy one. Is it true that your name is Melvin? How many times have we gone over this? Yes, my name is Melvin. Daniel, what does the computer say? Computer says two. Well done. Oh. All right, it's working. Very good. Now on to the heavy hitting question. All right, Melvin, we have a ton of questions for you, and so does the spy ninjas at home here. And I'm not quite sure how your memory's working since Project Zorgles erased it, put it back, erase it. You have a lot of memory problems. So this whole thing is kind of pointless if you don't remember anything. So how much do you really remember? I don't remember much. Not since I had that little B235 module on the back of my mask. The one I ripped out, and stomped on. Yeah, that little green thing saved your life. And then it got foggy, right? Yes. I haven't lost my memory. Since. So wait, everything before that moment you don't remember? But anytime I see a video or a picture, I remember it. Does he tell the truth, Daniel? Okay, let's see here. The readings are coming in. Daniel, come on, you can do this. It's true. Yeah! Guess what? You just won. It's a CWC hoodie. I'll go ahead and put it right here. Do you not like our merch? I don't like it. I think it has too much sleeves. It just needs some alterations, that's all. PZ9, all the spy ninjas at home, they want to know, are you my brother? My kuya. What's that? It means older brother or older relative in Tagalog. Wait, how do you know he's older than you, Regina? Have you seen this beard? Just tell us, are you Regina's brother? I don't know. It's what the leader told me, and I trust what he has to say sometimes. And not anymore. Not anymore. Done with it. Good recovery. Is it true that he does not know? Yes, it's true. Ooh. Oh. But I hope we're brother and sister. Oh. Wait. Whoa. Wait, read, read this, Daniel. Yeah, is it true? Oh, it's saying, uh, inconclusive what you just said. He said he hopes you're his sister, but it might be true. I'm not sure. Your machine sucks. <laughs> we need to move on to a more important question. Melvin, I want to know, why did you first contact Justin way back in the day? Justin, huh? Obviously, him being one of your oldest friends, I knew he had a very high power level. So I thought maybe if I recruited him to my causes, that would be all I need to take over both the Spy Ninjas and Project Zorgo. <laughs> uh, you thought Justin would be down for that? Well, I thought he was down, but nah. His Let best friend. Hello, he married us. He's never gonna betray us. Let's see if yeah. he's telling the truth here. That seems like a bunch of malarkey. Malarkey yes, is right. The readings are coming in. It's looking like... Ah, man, I, I don't know. It says inconclusive again. You've been moving your hand the whole time, maybe. Daniel, what's wrong with your lie detecting machine? Should I just become the new lie detector person? Give me that white button up. Give yeah. it to me. You better watch it, girl. No, I'm the only lie detector person. All that memory erasing could really affect his results, I bet. Right, Daniel? I guess so. Well, I wish there was some way we could find out. There is a way. There is. I'm gonna call up Justin. He gets a free face reveal? Yeah, he's never seen your face. It's ringing. Oh. Escape. It's Justin! Justin! Hi! What's up, guys? You won't believe this. We finally revealed the face of PZ9. Wait, PZ9's face? I gotta see this. Once and for all, I'm gonna clear my name. Exactly. This is proof that you are not PZ9. Are you ready? I am so ready for this. Let's do it. PZ9. Well, hello there, 
Justin? <laughs> no way. This is PC9. Yes, it is I. That's not even close to, to my face. That We look nothing alike. To think that anybody got the two of us mixed up is crazy. Unbelievable. Oh. He's almost handsome enough to get it confused with me, but... <laughs> Watch yourself. I'm the most handsomest. Well, your beard is longer than mine. I'll give you that much. Oh, thanks. But your hair is quite nice as well. It's Thank you. Okay, oh, enough of the bromance here. Enough oh. of the bromance. What we really had to call about was he just told us, Justin, that he reached out to you a long time ago because he wanted to team up with you. This guy, he wanted me to stab my friends in the back. He wanted me to betray the spy ninjas. But guess what? That will never happen because I'm a true spy ninja, just like Chad Wild Clay and B. Quang. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Okay. I would kick my phone and I would completely smash my phone and that's not happening today. Don't Sorry, break your phone, Justin. <laughs> yeah, you've broken enough phones. Yeah, don't do that. That's the long and short of it, Chad Wild Clay. The tall and short, you mean? That's the tall and short of it. You guys are the tall and short of YouTube. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Justin seems to have verified what PZ9 was saying. You did indeed reach out to Justin to try to take down YouTube. He was telling the truth. I thought he was a tiny bit more evil than his appearance led him on to be. He seems to be a good guy just like y'all. Now everybody can see that we're not the same person. We might have the same hair and beard goals, but we're definitely two different people. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh. 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 Maybe they're brothers. Are we half brothers, separated at birth, and having to go on a journey of revenge? And instead of finding peace with one another, we found a rivalry? <laughs> Maybe we are the same person. Holy smokes, we're like on the same creative wavelength, man. The brother I'm from like another utter. Am I supposed to like PC9? What's going on, Chad? B? <laughs> well, that's a good question, Justin. <laughs> then maybe you should have joined my team in July or something. It's gonna take a little bit more than coolness, I'm afraid, and almost handsomeness to get me to turn on my friends, because I'm a, I'm a loyal ninja. That's right. Right? Oh, we're... Oh. Oh, he, just, he just broke his phone. Oh, he did a kick bump. But now we lost connection with him. Oh, man. You were telling the truth, PZ9. Melvin, I've got something very special for you. Ooh. I don't think you're going to want to lose this. It's B sized. <laughs> Not only is it a B sized Tanfa, but it is a champ sized ah! Tanfa. Whoa. This is way cooler than the one that Project Zorgo assigned to me. Except no electric elemental. But that's okay. We can hack that and fix that. Yeah. This will totally fit in the fan. You like that, huh? Pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't okay. have whoa, that uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, what's guys, up, what's guys, up? guys. One of the spy ninjas just sent me this picture saying what? that this is Melvin. We met him unmasked. I remember this. I remember this. Look at this. This was at a gas station. And this guy came up to us and said, hey, I'm a really big fan. Can I get a picture? He looks just like you. Nicer and more clean shaven, but that looks like you. Regina, it's your what? other brother. <laughs> Why are you lying? That's you, PZ9. I don't have another brother. If you lie, you lose all the merch. You lose that new tonfa we just gave you. Is this you? Yes or no? Not answering counts as a lie, no. Okay, it's me in that photo. <gasps> yes, that is it, I. Daniel. Like... Yes, he's telling the truth. That's him! Melvin, what were you doing there at the gas station? Well, Project Zorgo sent me to spy on you guys. Undercover, no mask. You guys caught me looking, so I thought I would pose as one of your fans. Because you guys are so popular, you guys didn't think anything of it. I almost got away with it. Remember V? I was like, that guy's looking at us a lot. Yeah. He must be a fan. Let's go talk to him. And we bought you that soda? If I would've known you were with Project Zorgo, oh my gosh. I even bought you that spicy beef jerky. Oh, uh, Jebediah's beef jerky? Yeah. One of the best things I've ever tasted. You told the truth, so your prize is that soda we bought you and that beef jerky. Oh, come on. Just kidding, here's a sticker. Oh, I'll put this on your laptop, like this one. Melvin, next question. As a spy ninja, will you have any contact with current PZ members? <laughs> no. What does the lie detector say? Is he telling the truth? <laughs> It says no! He's lying! What? Melvin! I might have some of them on my Instagram or something. I don't slide into any DMs. I specifically asked you, will you stay in contact, contact. with any of them? Aren't you like best friends with PZ too? Even that PZ44 guy that one time you were in the car singing along with him? No, not yeah. him! And They're PZ friends. Squire too! They're like Roblox friends yeah. with him! Yeah! I don't even log on anymore! The safe house is not gonna be safe anymore if you keep in contact with the PZ members! How about I just drop them and then you can ask me again? I'll drop this merch from your closet. Oh! <sighs> ah! And the rules
rule was if you lie once, you lose all the merch you've earned so far. I'm sorry, I do talk to PZ members. Maybe you can find out more about PZ and their secrets. And we can use that to our advantage. But as long as you don't tell them the safe house address. I've had plenty of opportunities to tell them the safe house address already. And I haven't. Give me some credit. That's true. What about PZ2? Aren't you gonna miss him? PZ2. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But I'll get over it. Just like everybody else does. Ha! <laughs> Big whoops. Daniel? Yeah, he's telling the truth. You are gonna miss PZ2. Oh. Mm. For telling the truth, I got a prize for you. Da -da! So I asked you Spy Ninjas on Instagram what you wanted to ask PZ9. A lot of you actually said, is Melvin married? Cause he's wearing a ring. So Melvin, are you married? It's called fashion. Just because I'm wearing a ring doesn't mean I'm married. It means I got good taste. Huh. So you're saying no? I'm not married. A single Pringle. Okay. Let's see if he's telling the truth. You see this right now? Yes. I you see this? He's telling the truth. He's not married. I don't have enough time to deal with a significant other. I don't know how you guys do it. We work together, so that makes it easy. Wait, are you saying it's not my choice? Hey, I'm not the one taking the lie detector test uh, here. Let's skip back to to Melvin. That's the important part. Well, you can go next after me, Chad. No thanks. <laughs> you get a nice CWC wristband. Hey. <laughs> I got a question for ya! Got a question yeah. for ya! And I got an answer. PZ9, where did you learn how to fight? I've just been like trying to get my ninja moves better, but I don't know how. And you're good at it. How'd you learn? I learned from YouTube. So you've been watching all the Spy Ninja videos, huh? <laughs> you wish. I would fight like PZ2 if I learned how to fight from the Spy Ninja videos. Hey. Oh. <laughs> but I just watch copious amounts of YouTubes. You just gotta take the time to do your research and practice. Now, if any of you Spy Ninjas want to learn how to fight and battle royale, just subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, no, no. or you could just watch me now, I guess. No, no, no. no. Daniel, is he telling the truth? I, I can't see. Okay, he's telling the truth. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Since you told the truth, I got a little merch for you. This is a new item. It's a pop socket. I'm the first one to get my hands on it? Yeah, none of the Spy Ninjas actually even have this. Hey! This is like when you're in a battle royale and you need to film it with stability. Thanks! PZ9, why are you so scared of peeing your pants? That's what? like your greatest fear. You're always like, uh oh, I peed my pants. Like a little baby. He sounds just like that. Fine. I'll tell you my story. When I was a wee lad, you went wee wee. I was six years old, traveling to the Philippines. I didn't know how to speak Tagalog, and my mom left me at an arcade, and I was having so much fun all by myself. But then I had to use the bathroom, and I didn't know how to ask anybody. I was shy, I didn't speak the language, and I didn't know where my mom was, and I was just wandering around. I didn't know where the bathroom was, and, and then I just had to let it go, and it was in the middle of a, a busy mall and there were people walking around me and they were watching it happen and oh. laughing at me and, laughing at and I didn't know what they were saying. Oh. And ever since then, I vowed to never, ever, ever have wet pants in public, regardless of where the water came from. Yeah, I understand now, it all makes sense. Sorry, PZ9. How do you remember that story? That's from your childhood. No amount of B-235 is gonna ever erase a memory that jarring. Well, let's see if that was true or just another one of your phony baloney stories. Oh, I've actually never seen a reading like this before. I think it's true. It's, it's gotta be true. It's true. Oh, no. But something's going on with him right now, guys. The readings are so weird. He's it's definitely getting, freaking out right now. He's getting really emotional. <laughs> Did you relive your childhood trauma? Yeah, I just made pee. No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Did you pee in our floors? Next question. <laughs> Why didn't you want to take your mask off, PZ9? Well, I did. Plenty of times. What? When? <gasps> July 28th on the Hollywood Reservoir Bridge. Wait, no. we, we were there. We were definitely there. That's a bunch of baloney. Yeah. We never saw his face. No, we saw your trophy. It was noted that in one of your videos, you almost caught me without my mask on. Hey, what, what do you mean? What are you talking about here? Pull this up on YouTube right now. Let's see if he's telling the truth. Play that video. If you pause it right there, oh. I'm in the back. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, let me zoom in. Oh my gosh, that's, that's real. Wow. What? How do we never see that? We all watched it. None of us noticed.
noticed? Oh. I think some of those fine ninjas have noticed. Really? Yeah, I'm checking comments? some of the comments here, and oh. I think some of them did notice. That's why it's so important that you guys get here in the first 60 minutes of every video, because we read all of your comments during the first 60 minutes. All right, Pizza Nine, I got another question for you. Um, can you teach me how to do a cool ninja move? Oh, you're really good, and I could use some work. I got a good one. Since Daniel's always on the ground, <laughs> maybe I could teach him a kip up. Kip up? Well, in one of the last battle royales I had with this guy, he could have saved me, but he was on the ground and he was complaining about his leg. My, 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 my leg hurt. That one like guy, he was all like this, he like grabbed my leg and he pulled it, down I went. Well, this move is supposed to help you recover from that. Oh, I'm Daniel. Oh, oh, my leg, oh, my leg. Uh, Regina saved me. Oh, my God. I would never call for Regina for help. You gonna take that? No. Prepare to battle, PZ9. Wait, what are we doing again? Oh, teach me the move. Is this the move you're teaching Daniel how to lay on the ground? He's already good at this move. <laughs> okay, well, a kip up is basically using your legs to get yourself up on the ground. Let's see. So Woo! Something like that. No freaking problem, PZ9. So you were laying here like this. Yeah. And then you raised your leg to reveal your bottom. Yes, yeah. exactly. You can use your hands to kind of get you up. Like this? Ah! And then you just kick up and push yourself to your feet. All right, ready? Count me down, guys. Three, Three two, two, one, five. go! Ah! Hey! You got it. Here we go. Ah! Yeah! Oh, I thought you had it. Maybe in like three months he'll get it. <laughs> okay. My back? I'll keep practicing, PZ9. Uh, PZ9, you said you would teach me, and it was kind of a lie, but I'll give it to you. I'll keep practicing. What, you think these lessons are gonna be free? <laughs> Melvin, a lot of these spy ninjas out here have been asking this question. Why did you join Project Zorg? I was an aspiring YouTuber with dreams of making money and being famous all through making fun videos. But it failed, and it was difficult, and it sucked. And if I couldn't get my success, then nobody should be able to get theirs. Project Zorgo saw my value, and then they hired me for my fighting skills and my ability to be on camera, I guess. They believed in me, and they made me feel like I can get anything I wanted in this world. But the only two things I got was a bunk bed beside Billy Bob and the chance to enjoy Boy, night crawlers. Ew. Ew, oh. worms. <laughs> oh. Stay in a bunk bed with Billy Bob? That was almost worse than the worms. Does that answer your so, question, Daniel? Maybe. Let's see what the lie detector says. Like, why would I even oh, lie about hey, it? That's hey, a huge part hey, of my you personal doing? story. Are you hiding so, something? Let me read the lie detector, dude. Oh, yeah, he's telling the truth. Oh, oh good. Oh, huh. okay. Take the whole fanny pack. All right. Spy Ninja Essentials Kit. All right, wait, wait, wait. Melvin, you said you want to be famous on YouTube? Is that why you want to join the Spy Ninjas? So you can be famous and get more subscribers from us? <gasps> no. It's not like a lie. He's telling the truth. No. He's using us, guys. He's using us. Everybody calm down. We don't know yet. We'll know in approximately three seconds. <gasps> it's a lie. Oh! You're lying. Oh, oh no. You know what? I'm taking this off, oh. too. Oh. I have my own personal YouTube channel that it would be nice if I had more subscribers, but that's not why I'm joining you guys, you know? It's supposed to take down Project Zorgo. But you, you lied. Hey, PZ9, I want to know what is the true, true, true reason that you want to be a spy ninja? If you lie one more time, that's three lies, and you are out like a trout. Well, I want to join the spy ninjas because clout. <gasps> Bang! Friendship. Friendship. Oh. Those are the PZ9 tenants to being PZ9. <laughs> <laughs> so if I want to be PZ9, I, just, I gotta care about clout, fame, and friendship. <laughs> Is it true, Daniel? Mike. Yeah, it's true. Oh. You're telling the truth. <laughs> At the beginning of all this, I. <laughs> Hated you guys. You made my job at Project Zorga so terrible. Okay, but now I kind of like you guys. Out of my uh, three Spy Ninja tenants, clout, fame, and friendship, being in Project Zorgo and having my own channel only got me two of those: clout and fame. But it was a lonely road. Hanging out with you guys got a taste of what friendship is all about. That alone kind of beats out clout and fame. That's good advice. Friendship is much more important than those other two. That's why I made it my own personal mission to get closer to the spy ninjas with the hopes of eventually becoming one. Oh.
p 9 I really like everything you just said about how friendship is more important than being famous and getting clout. You did lie two times. But the rule was if you lie three times, you're not a spy ninja. So congratulations, you have become a spy ninja! Yeah! Wait, do I get any of that merch? Oh, where? Sure, one thing. Yeah! Okay, PZ9, I have something special for you. <gasps> when I took my lie detector test to join the spy ninjas, V gave me Mr. Bear. She sewed him back together, it was so nice. So I have a gift for you. Put your hands out, PZ9. You are the best superstar. Open your eyes! <laughs> Hollywood, best superstar! <laughs> speech, 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 speech! I would like to thank all the Spy Ninjas out there who believe that I should be a Spy Ninja as well. To Regina for not throwing this away and keeping this. And the three tenants of PZ9. Clout, fame, and now most importantly, friendship. Yeah! yeah! This is feeling. <laughs> Your heart? I think it's turning from black to maybe red. <laughs> He's crying. Oh my gosh. Is there pollen in here? Oh. He's crying. Okay. He's so happy to have friends. Welcome to the Spy Ninjas, Melvin. I'm happy to be here. On behalf of all the Spy Ninjas here, we'd like to welcome you, PZ9, to the Spy Ninjas. And all of you, Spy Ninjas, please make sure to subscribe to me, V, Daniel, Regina. Mixed you two up, sorry about that. And for the first time, go ahead and subscribe to PZ9 as well. Really? And now you get to do your first official kick bump. Are you ready, PZ9? Ha <laughs> ha! Kick bump! Oh shoot, I missed it! <laughs> Might have to practice. It takes that. some practice. <laughs>